What is up everybody, your boy Pauly P here from PK's Bike Shop and today we are going to review a little bit of technology. We're going to review the Tax uh, Smart Training application which you can find on iOS, you can find on Windows, uh, Apple, Android and one quick note here, I'm looking at the description, it says Smart Trainer, the Flow Smart pairs seamlessly with most popular training apps. I have a feeling that this tax app will work. Say you have a Cyclops trainer, it will probably work with that. You have a Wahoo trainer, I bet you will work with that. So uh, let's get right into it. My two objectives here is uh, selfishly for myself, I like to mix up my training and I do a lot of training at home. Uh, I am a full-blown tax user. I have the tax Neo 2T. Um, I used to have the Wahoo Kicker. I used to have the Wahoo Snap, uh, Cyclops Magnus. I own a bike shop, so of course I'm going to have to go through these to train them, to try them out. And the Tax Neo 2T is by far the best one that I have ever ridden. Uh, and I'll have to do a review on that. But for right now, let's talk about the app here. As you can see, it says the Tax Desktop app. Let's explore that. And there we go. Let's hit down the download button. And I'm taking you right from scratch here, just in case you can't find the app you're going to know how to do it now as you can see it says ios android windows 10 and mac uh, we're going to go for the windows 10 there we go and let's go down here there it is get the app and launch the app all right so we're getting into the app here so two things we're, one i'm going to try to teach you how to create your own workout and also how to look at some of the free rides that they might have um, because the free rides are pretty cool. Here we go, new films, uh, the world championship. So if you wanna ride the actual world championship course without risking getting hit by a car on this like freeway going down the hill here, uh, you can do it. But these are locked, so these are probably subscription based, uh, required subscription level for this training. Let's go over to films called films not rides and we're going to filter into the free ones here and there you go we've got four of them okay uh the difficulty moderate easy moderate and easy uh the distance for this one is only 3.5 kilometers super short so these are very short demos except for this first one which is 13 kilometers just to give you a taste so when you go up one of these mountains at say six and a half percent gradient it's going to feel like six and a half percent gradient 10 percent gradient well you better have the right gear ratio for that otherwise you're going to be screaming so i'm going to try these out a little bit later like i said i'm always trying to mix up my training one day i might want to do zwift Another day I might want to just use my Garmin GPS computer on my smart trainer. Uh, it just varies, but right now I'm gonna try out this tax, tax app and we're gonna go into making out a workout now. So we'll go to workouts. Let's see what we have. All right, so the workouts are based on FTP, functional threshold power, power or slope, which is gradient of the hill. I made a slope workout earlier and there it is. There's the Poly P Hillside Ride. Let's click on that. And maximum slope is 6.3%. It's 15 kilometers. Um, let's see if we can see a bar graph of that. Hmm. Let's go back. All right, so yeah, there is the graph right there. You can see I've got one, two, three, four, five hills. But let's go into creating a workout. Uh, for all uh, intents and purposes, let's create a workout using slope, okay? slope so we're going to create a workout and we're going to have it uh, be about let's do a 10 kilometer hilly ride okay a 10 kilometer hilly ride and boom right there it starts you off with 10 kilometers so let's break it down let's pick out three one kilometer climbs so three kilometers is going to be climbing so we're going to start off with a nice little warm-up here of 0% gradient and we're going to insert our first climb right here. Here we go. Our first climb, let's make each climb be one kilometer and we're going to make them kind of hard right up to about eh, 
Uh, let's go with 6%. 6% is a good pick for 1K. All right. Then, after you go up the hill, you got to go down the hill. So let's make a little rest break here. Uh, let's go down the hill, minus 2.5% gradient. And we'll do that for a kilometer. Two kilometers. Good rest. Insert our third hill here. And we'll make this hill a little bit harder it's still for only for 1k I'm old I'm 50 years old okay um, and let's go insert our little downhill again here boom keep this at zero percent and again a nice little two per two kilometer and then our finally our last hill here we're gonna make this a little bit easier go up to five percent gradient and we will then insert our little cool down period here. Boom. And now we'll, we will save this climb here. We'll call this the uh, YouTube Workout Hill Creation. As you can see, I was not an English literary major. Okay, there we go. All right, so it's uploading the workout. So as you saw earlier, this could be used for iOS or Android. Uh, you're gonna want to get familiar with it on your phone because say you may want to use your phone or your iPad or your tablet to run the app while you watch TV or whatever. So we're going to check it out on the phone, see if that workout is actually on here. So the first thing you want to do is going to your tax app on your phone. I have a little Garmin folder all dialed in there. So we're going to load it up here and let's go down. Let's see if we can go to, okay, here it is, new ride. There are some demo rides there, as you can see. There's your locked features. The classics, referring to professional cycling classic rides. Mountain stages. And then here we go up top here, workout. Here's my workouts. There it is. YouTube workout hill creation. And there it is. We have the uh, nice little 0% gradient, the uphill, the downhill. And all I have to do is press the play button and off we go. It's going to run me right into that and adjust to those hills as we ride. Really cool, cool stuff there. Um, so there you have it. So again, we can go back over to our dashboard here. Um, our favorite workouts. Let's let's make a favorite workout here. Let's go back over here. We're gonna go to our there it is YouTube creation. Let's favorite that one since uh, you guys were on for the ride for that one. And we'll go back over to our dashboard and there's our favorite workout. So if you have any questions and before I forget, feel free to like this video, subscribe and. Uh, get notified so you hear our next review coming up or vlog or whatever we like to have a lot of fun with this channel and thank you so much for subscribing already and watching these videos if you have any questions about this app i will do my best to answer them if you have any questions about smart trainers or zwift let me know i've been doing this for many years um you know because of pk parker kate of pk's bike shop i do a lot of riding inside with her right on my side it's awesome and I, there is never any crashing uh, so anyways, thanks so much for watching and we will see you in our next video. Peace.